Melanin is one of the major pigments in nature. It's widely present in living organisms, starting from microorganisms and fungi up to higher animals. Its wide presence in nature is attributed to its multiple functions. Melanin is responsible for pigmentation, thermoregulation, toxin absorption, UV radiation protection, antioxidant and oxidative stress scavenging. Melanin, and especially melanin radical, plays an important role in melanoma. It is very aggressive skin cancer, and the annual cost of treatment and diagnosis of melanoma ranges from six to $40,000 per year per patient. Only in the US, they spend over $360 million per year to treat melanoma. That is why there is a constant search for new, effective methods for early diagnosis and treatment of melanoma. Animal studies is a crucial step in development of new treatments and study mechanism of diseases. And among animal models, the zebrafish model is the most popular one, because it's cheap, easy to maintain and robust model where you can extend the results to higher vertebrates. Also, there are a number of disease models created for zebrafish, including melanoma. And starting from the second day post-fertilization, zebrafish embryos develop melanin pigmentation. And how to detect melanin radicals in vivo in zebrafish? The best way to detect free radicals is to use electron paramagnetic resonance. The melanin radical studies in vitro with X-band EPR is well described. So we decided to combine the advantage of X-band EPR with zebrafish and create a new, easy to use, cheap model to detect in vivo melanin radicals. Our team, this is me, Dr. Katerina Makarova, and Dr. Katarzyna Zawada working together more than five years with zebrafish embryo model and more than 10 years with electron paramagnetic resonance at the Department of Physical Chemistry Medical University of Porso. Together, we have created a new specially shaped capillary to fit embryos so the in vivo measurements is possible with the easiest to operate X-band benchtop EPR spectrometer. The specially shaped capillaries could be made of glass instead of quartz, which significantly decrease their cost. And the whole protocol is very easy. You put the embryos inside the capillary, place it into the resonator and measure free radicals. For our capillary, we already have a positive opinion for our international PCT patent application. And now we are ready for the next step. We are working on oxidative stress model, which could be used in a different disease models, including neurodegenerative one. And we are also looking for collaboration with industry, especially EPR spectrometer producer, laboratory glass producers, and companies who are working with zebrafish. We are also looking for scientific collaboration with scientists who want to use our model.